Today we are going to go over the top five accessory movements for weightlifters. And this is not on any, this is not backed by science, this isn't anything super specific. These are the exercises that have helped me and the exercises that I would program for my athletes that help them. And these exercises help a lot. And they've done a lot of good things for my athletes. They fix a lot of problems. And I think these five give you the most bang for your buck out of any exercise you do that's not on the platform. Did you say they're a game changer? They help. I wouldn't say they're a game changer. Game changers don't exist in weightlifting. You're gonna, you're gonna hate every minute of your life if you keep looking for game changers because they don't exist. The only game changer is working your sack off every single day and then your game will change. But fucking putting on a pair of European weightlifting pants isn't gonna make you snatch more. All right, so number five is any sort of rear delt fly that you can do. That can be the resistance bands, TRX, that can be rear delt flies with a dumbbell, but anything that gets your rear delts activated because in weightlifting, we don't really do that and that's why we have a lot of shoulder problems. Our rear delts are weak, our front delts take most of the work. So naturally, if you're a weightlifter, your shoulder is gonna roll forward. This helps combat that, pulls your shoulder back into a position to where it can remain healthy and not irritated and achy every time you do any sort of Olympic lift. So this is just kind of one of those exercises that keeps your shoulders healthy and allows you to do the Olympic lifts without having to stop and rehab. All right, at number four, we have the pull-up. I think the pull-up is one of the best exercises ever for the upper body, but nothing hits the whole entire back better than a pull-up, and it's a very accessible exercise for everybody to do. So all it is, you grab a bar and you do a pull-up. If you can't do that, the second best thing you can do to scale our lat pull downs. And you'll see a lot of people put bands on a pull up bar, have people do slow negatives. The best way to train the pull up is with the lat pull down. So say you have four sets of eight on pull up, you can only do three. Do four sets of eight on lat pull down as heavy as you can and keep progressing that. Try to get the weight higher and higher and eventually you're gonna be able to knock out pull ups. Number three is the single leg RDL. Ever since my knee injury, I've been a huge fan of unilateral hip work, and the single leg RDL hits that better than anything. So you can do this with, I recommend with a barbell, you could use a dumbbell too, you can use a kettlebell, but just make sure that if you're using a dumbbell or kettlebell, you're offset, the left leg's down, the weight is in the right hand. And doing these, you'll see a lot of benefits in your lower back. If you have back pain, it's gonna even out those hips and you'll feel a huge benefit in your knees as well. And something I recommend for these is try to not let the opposite foot touch back down on the ground throughout the whole entire set. So stay balanced through that foot the best you can. and hit full range the whole way. All right, the second most important one. This is my second favorite accessory movement I've ever done for the sport of weightlifting. And that is the single arm farmer's walk. This hits your core in a way that is very usable for weightlifting. If you train your core by doing a shitload of sit-ups and Russian twists and all that shit, that's not gonna translate very well. This is isometric, you're loading, and you're moving the hips, that's what needs to happen when you do the Olympic lifts. Everyone is going to hate this, but I think the number one exercise that a weightlifter can do, not on the platform, is the Bulgarian split squat. Your hip is at end range, it's in full extension, and you're loaded, so you're stretching your hip flexor, you're active, you're also loading the front glute and the front quad while also working the back quad. This is everything you need to be a weightlifter, all while you're vertical and your core is loaded. So the hips are moving in a way that is gonna transfer directly to the lifts. You're hitting areas that need help for the lifts and you're also hitting the adductor here. And that is going to bail you out of some knee pain and make squats feel a lot easier. All right, when I do these, people take a small step if you want these to transfer really well as a weightlifter, 
Take a bigger step and try to sit those hips right in between the feet. All while keeping your chest pointing straight forward. All right. If you guys like the informational style video, I haven't done one of these yet. You guys have just kind of been watching me live my life and throw around some weights. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you have another topic for one of these, maybe like a top five list, let me know what you want to see. If you see something in the comments you like, like it, that way we know what to do. But yeah, all the codes are in the description. Help your boy out, get some barbell apparel. Those are shirts are in the works. So those are gonna be here soon. Um, if you want the best supplements, GorillaMind.com. It's a supplement company that will not jip you out of money. Everything is fully dosed, and that is what their brand is standing on. So if you want supplements that actually work, that have everything in it that you want to be in it, GorillaMind.com forward slash dozer, and use code dozer at checkout, 10% off. Sub-Zero Plunge, if you want an ice bath in your backyard, it is a absolute luxury here in Texas because it's like 105 degrees outside right now, but subzeroplunge.com, discount code dozer for $250 off. And other than that, thank you guys for watching. See you next week.